Welcome, in front of me is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and today I will show you how you can record screen on this device. So, to get started, we're going to pull down our notifications and we're going to swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles. Now, on one of the pages, you should have your screen recorder toggle. For me, it is on the first page or right over here. So, once you see this toggle, you can simply tap on it. You can also hold it uh, to change settings, but by default, they are set to basically the highest options. So, I don't think you really need to change them. Um, and when you tap on the toggle, it gives you the couple settings right here that you actually might want to alter. Uh, so we have sound, we can record nothing, media or media and the mic. For some reason, there is no mic only. And we also have show tops and touches, which I'll enable just so you can see how that looks like on the recording. From there, we can select start. It begins a countdown, which you can skip. And whatever you'll do right now will be recorded by the device. So with that being said, let's see, do we have a Netflix on here? I don't think so. Yeah, we don't, unfortunately. So anyway, whatever app you will open, obviously will be recorded. Just going to showcase this some. And from here, we can pause our screen recording and for instance, open some kind of app, maybe log into it and then resume the recording by selecting the red circle again. Uh, we can enable the uh, drawing tool. So just to showcase this. We can also change the color. And we can enable the front camera. Now, once you're done recording, you can click on the square right here to automatically save the recording to your gallery application. And it will be visible right at the uh, very top if you just captured it. Uh, later on, you can find it by going into the albums and you have an album called Screen Recordings. And then here, obviously, you will find just Screen Recordings, which if you capture photos and videos and all that stuff, it might be easier to locate your screen recording in its dedicated place. And as you can see right now, it's already playing. Now that white dot is basically where my finger was pressing, that's the show tops and touches. Uh, it just records this kind of dot on your screen recording. And some people might find this distracting, so in this, this case, you might want to turn it off. Uh, for gaming, I don't think it would be use, uh, usable. Uh, but for instruction videos, similar to this one, it's pretty okay. Now, uh, with that being said, that is how you can record your screen on this phone. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.